guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be coming at you with a phone case collection. This will be a slightly outdated one as I've just upgraded my phone to the new iPhone 8 but I thought I'd let you have a good look at what I have for my iPhone 6 anyway. So without further ado, let's get on into that video. So I recently upgraded but my previous phone was the iPhone 6S in the rose gold or pink, whatever you want to call it. Um, I've got a Gear 4 bumper case on it which means, as the guy showed me in the shop, I can pretty much lob it anywhere other than into water or fire and it protects it. However, these cases don't last very long because as you can see, mine broke. It did last me two years but I mean when you pay like £20 for a phone case that's supposed to like sustain bumps and all the rest of it you'd expect it to live a little bit longer as for the rest of my cases i keep them in this rather overflowing basket on one of my shelves these little baskets are actually from primark they come in white and gray and i've got quite a few of them they're very aesthetically pleasing so as you can see they're overflowing at the moment so i'm just going to get straight into what phone cases i've got the next one is another sort of bumper case for my iPhone 6. I got this from Poundland so it's probably not as durable as the one I had but this was basically an emergency buy when that one died. It's purple, it's supposed to be like that bendy silicone but because of the sides being made out of plastic it doesn't really bend or mould into the foam very well so what can you expect from Poundland but it did the job when I needed it. The next one is one that I don't use very often anymore because it's a little bit cringy. It is this acrylic phone case obviously and it says on fleek on the front of it. Um, not really a phrase I've ever used. Again, I don't, in all fairness, I don't know why I bought this one. I think I was feeling sassy at the time. So that was on my phone for all of a week. The next one is quite a bog standard one. It is again, sort of an acrylic-y plastic, but it's got that sort of smooth rubbery feeling over the top. Just says love on the front in a floral design. Um, again, this is quite a cheapy one. I think this is either from Primark or Poundland again. Um, again, you can tell that it's cheap quality as the little sort of side bits have snapped or have snapped completely off. Um, but I thought it was cute, like most of my phone cases. So I just thought it was a nice one to add to my collection. The next one, I'm ashamed to say, is one of my favorites. It is on the inside made out of this bright yellow acrylic, but on the outside, it is denim with an embroidered alpaca on the front. I've been informed that this is an alpaca, not a llama, um, but he's cute and he's got a little bandana on him. I never named him, probably should, because he is very adorable. Um, this was on my phone for a very long time. One, because I like to fiddle with things and because the embroidery is actually kind of like 3D, I do like to kind of run my hands over my phone when I'm bored, but also like, come on, he's adorable. So that's that one. The next case I got, I got from Wish. Um, I didn't actually have to pay any money for it. It was one of those ones where you just paid the shipping and they sent it to you. It's got this little lever that you push down and then this little rubber band comes out, a little bit similar to a pop socket, um, but I think it's just a little bit more secure. Um, on the band it says, I want personality and not trivial. I really like the design. It is an, made of acrylic material, but then on the inside it's made out of more of a silicone material, so it's not gonna be too difficult to get off your phone. Um, I did use this quite a lot, however, again, probably should learn my lesson. Buying cheap phone cases has its downsides because I realize that happens, where the acrylic outside does come away from the silicone inside, which is a little bit of a bummer, but as long as I'm not lobbing my phone around anywhere, it stays on, it's just when I decide to drop it. The next one is one of my most gaudy phone cases ever. It is made out of silicone and it is this chocolate bar phone case. Um, it's got one, two, three, four little faces, some of them with googly eyes and some of them are just drawn on. They are 3D squares of chocolate, um, very stretchy, fits my phone perfectly. It is probably one of the most bulkiest phone cases I've got, but as I am a major chocolate addict, when I saw this, I couldn't pass it up. I think I got this one around the same time as I got the Llama one, which was when I think Claire's was having their annual sale or something. Um, so I think it was only about three or four pounds, same with the Llama one. But yeah, you can't really say a lot about it apart from it's chocolate and it's the best. The next one I got from my local shop called Neon Sheep. 
Um, it's just this sort of soft acrylic black phone case with a little hole in the middle to show off the Apple logo and of course the camera. And then it's got again a little lever that can come up and you can twist it to suit your fingers perfectly so you don't drop your phone or lose it anywhere. There was once a point that it got stuck to my keys and I had my keys attached to my phone for almost a week but other than that it's obviously quite a useful gadget on your phone. I haven't used this one a lot, um, I kind of bought it spare of the moment when I forgot my phone case. Um, I think it was when I went to London actually but since then I haven't really used it and then I got my upgrade so most of these phone cases I probably will be putting on Depop or something similar just so someone can get some uses out of these cute phone cases. We're now coming to near the end of my iPhone 6 case collection so my next one is again a very big case and it is this one um, I have actually got a pop socket on there from Skinny Dip London I'm gonna try and peel it off and put it on my new phone because I'm not paying £15 for a pop socket again but this is actually the Primark version of the Lumi case I think it's called where it has this little button on the back and then when you press it It does nothing. <laughs> well, I'm gonna take it the batteries have run out or I've dropped it too many times for it to work anymore, but it is supposed to light up and it takes really good selfies. Um, I probably will repurchase this again for my iPhone 8, um, but yeah, that, that is supposed to light up. <laughs> and lastly, but not least, <laughs> my most gorgeous phone case and I'm ashamed to own this phone case. I'm gonna show you the front first. <laughs> it looks like this from the front. <laughs> It's got little white lace that cups around the outside of my phone and then the back of it is a bunny. <laughs> I again got this off of Wish, I think it only cost me about two or three pounds but it has little fluffy bunny ears and then of course it has the little cotton tail which can also be used as sort of like a pop socket kind of thing. I've never dropped my phone when I've had this case but then again when you basically have a bunny in your hand why would you want to drop it? Um, it has actually got diamante around the camera space with a little bow, however the fur kind of hides that which I don't mind because I think that makes it look even more cheap than it already does. But yeah this is one of my favourite phone cases but it is completely impractical and just generally yeah it's just impractical i don't know why anyone would actually have this as a phone case and then finally we have come on to my iphone 8 cases i've only had this phone probably about three four weeks so i haven't got a great collection however i have got an ebay haul coming up that is full of new phone cases for my iphone 8 so be sure to stay tuned for that but at the moment i have got this phone case on my phone i've got the white iphone 8 definitely gonna have more cases on this one because i was informed that unlike the iphone 6 that's made out of metal the back of the iphone 8 is made out of glass brilliant best design so again i've got a gear 4 case but i have actually gone and bought another pop socket not that i need anymore in this marble print um i apologize because I don't actually think this is a branded pop socket I think I got a knockoff not bad but I think it was a pound I will probably transfer my skinny dip London one onto this case or the next case that I'm going to show you which is the only case I've actually recently bought for my iPhone 8 it's made out of a clear silicone material and then on the back it has white pink and gold marble print like I said it's very stretchy it probably doesn't offer any or much support to my phone whatsoever but it's very aesthetically pleasing so I picked that one up I think it was from Primark I think it was about two two pound fifty roughly but yeah I just thought for Primark that was actually pretty fancy so yeah so that has come to the end of my phone case haul like I said be sure to stay tuned because my eBay haul will be coming very very soon with a whole load of more phone cases to fit my new phone and of course if you like this video please give my video a nice thumbs up and maybe even leave me a comment down below and again thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe <laughs>